Hello, we are FTC Team 7105, Swift Intergalactic Space Squirrels. In this video, we will be showing you different ways you can use the EV3 color sensor using EV3 Mindstorms block programming. In order to understand the programs in this video, it is necessary that you have a base understanding of the green, orange, and yellow palette programming blocks. In this program, we will show you how to use the color sensor change color setting on the white block. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a move steering block from the green tab and turn it on. Then you can go to the orange tab and grab a white block and set it to color sensor change color. Now grab a move steering block and turn this one off. What this program does is tell the robot to go forwards. The weight block tells the robot to sense whenever the color changes and since we turned the move steering block after the weight block off, once the color changes, the robot will stop. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color sensor change reflected light intensity setting on the white block. Grab a large motor block and turn it on. Set the power to 5. We want it to go really slow here. Then go to the orange tab and bring up a white block and change the setting to color sensor change reflected light intensity. Set the direction to decrease and make the count 50. Grab a move steering block and turn it off. What this program does is make the robot turn very slowly. If you start the program when the robot's color sensor is on white, on which, for the sake of this example, the sensor will read 80% reflected light intensity, then when the robot turns and the sensor starts reading the black line, which we will say equals 30% reflected light intensity, the robot will sense a decrease of 50% reflected light intensity and the program will stop. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color sensor change ambient light intensity setting on the white block. Grab a large motor block from the green tab. You can turn it on, then bring up a white block and set it to color sensor change ambient light intensity. Change the direction to increase and you can leave the count at the default of 10. Bring another large motor block up and turn it off this time. Now you can bring up a third large motor block, but this time you want it to be set for a different large motor than the first ones were set for. What this program does is make one of the wheels on the robot turn while the color sensor is constantly measuring the ambient light intensity and watching for changes in what it's measuring. So when the robot senses an increase of 10% ambient light intensity, the motor that was turning will stop and the other will turn one rotation. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color sensor compare color setting on the white block. Bring up a move steering block and turn it on. Now bring up a white block and set it to color sensor compare color. And you can change the color to whatever you want. We use red in this program. See the little check mark next to the number 5 next to the red. Then you can bring up a move tank block and set the power in the second motor to 0. 
What this program does is the robot will go forward until it sees anything red because the robot is constantly comparing what it is seeing with what its goal is, which is red in this program. Once the color sensor senses something red, then the robot will turn one rotation. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color sensor compare reflected light intensity setting on the weight block. The first thing you're going to want to do is bring up a move stirring block and turn it to on. Next, you can bring up a weight block and change the setting to color sensor compare reflected light intensity. You can change the compare type to greater than or equal to, and then change the threshold value to 70. Then bring up another move steering block, and this time you can turn it off. This just helps us to stop the wheels faster. What this program does is tell the robot to go forward while constantly comparing what the light value is to what we want it to be. In this program, we want it to be greater than or equal to 70% reflected light intensity, which is sensed generally on the lighter colors. So when the robot goes forward and sees white, the robot stops. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color sensor compare ambient light intensity setting on the weight block. The first thing you're going to want to do is bring up a medium motor block. You can turn it on and then bring up a weight block. Change the setting to color sensor, compare ambient light intensity. Then change the compare type to greater than or equal to. And change the threshold value to 18. The required number may vary depending on what the light value is in your building. Now bring up another medium motor block, and this time you can turn it off. Select a large motor block, and set the amount of rotations to 3. What this program does is make the medium motor spin while the robot senses what the ambient light intensity is. Uh, ambient light is natural light, so the light sensor senses what the light is before it is reflected or before any extra light is added in any way. Because we set the ambient light intensity to 18, the medium motor will stop once the sensor sees 18% ambient light intensity. Then a wheel will turn for three rotations. In this program, we will show you how to use the color sensor color setting on the loop block. The first thing you're going to want to do here is bring up a loop block from the orange tab and set it to color sensor color. Then you can go back to the green tab and put a move steering block inside the loop and turn it on. What this does is make the robot go forward for as long as you want, really. Because you put the move steering block inside the loop, it will go forward until the color sensor senses something red. Once it does, it will exit the loop and the program will end. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color reflected light intensity setting on the loop block. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a loop block and change the setting to color sensor reflected light intensity. You can change the threshold value to 10 and leave the compare type at the default of less than. Grab a move steering block and place it in the loop and turn it on. What this does is make the robot drive forward continuously. 
Once the color sensor senses any light value less than 10, usually darker colors, the robot will coast to a stop and the program will end. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color ambient light intensity setting on the loop block. Bring up a loop block and set it to color sensor ambient light intensity. Change the compare type to greater than or equal to and change the threshold value to 20. Grab a medium motor block from the green tab and turn it to on and then you can change the power to 100 or whatever you want we use 100 in this program what this program does is make the medium motor turn at full power for as long as the color sensor doesn't sense 20 percent ambient light intensity or greater once it does sense 20% or greater, the loop will be exited and the program will stop. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color measure color setting on the switch block. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the orange tab and bring up a loop block. Then you can grab a switch block and put it inside of the loop. Then you can change the setting to color sensor, measure, color. And then you can change the color in the bottom case to white and keep the top at black. And you can also keep the top as the default case, which is the little black dot right next to the black square. If the color in the opposite case is not seen, then the default case will play. Now you can pull up a move steering block from the green tab and put it in the top case and turn it on. Bring up a move tank block and put it in the bottom case and turn it on. And you can change the power in the second motor to 20. What this program does is make the robot drive forward so long as the color sensor does not sense white. Once it does sense white though, the robot will turn until it no longer senses white and then it will go forward again and this will happen again and again until you stop the program. You can set limits on the time the program lasts by changing the setting on the loop block. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the color compare color setting on the switch block. First thing you're going to want to do is bring up a move steering block and you can leave it as is. Now you can bring up a switch block and set it to color sensor compare color. Then you can change the color to whatever you want. We keep it at red this in this program. Then bring up a move steering block and put it in the true case. And then bring up another move steering block, but this time put it in the false case and make the power negative 50. What this program does is make the robot go forward one rotation. If at the end of the rotation, the color sensor senses red, the true case will play, making the robot drive forward one rotation. If not, the false case will play, making the robot drive backwards one rotation. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the Color Compare Reflected Light Intensity setting on the switch block. Bring up a move steering block and you can leave all the settings at their default. Next, bring up a switch block and change the setting to Color Sensor, 
compare reflected light intensity. Change the compare type to greater than or equal to and change the threshold value to 70. Then you can go back to the green tab and grab a move steering block and put it in the true case. Bring up another move steering block and put it in the false case and this time you can make the power negative. What this program does is make the robot drive forward one rotation. If at the end of the rotation the light sensor sees a light value of 70% reflected light intensity or greater, the true case will play making the robot move forward one more rotation. If it does not see 70% reflected light intensity, the false case will play making the robot move backward one rotation. Here's the program in action. In this program, we will show you how to use the Color Compare Ambient Light Intensity setting on the switch block. The first thing you're going to want to do is bring up a loop block, and then you can place a switch block inside of the loop. Change the setting on the switch block to Color Sensor Compare Ambient Light Intensity. Set the compare type to greater than or equal to and set the threshold value to 20% ambient light intensity. Again, this value varies depending on the building you're in. Now you can bring up a display block from the grain tab and place it in the true case and set it to text pixels. Bring up another display block and put it in the false case and set it to text pixels. Next, we're going to set the coordinates for the text that will show up on the screen. It really doesn't matter what you set it for. Uh, if you kept it at 0, 0, then the text would show up in the top left corner. What we set it to is more towards the middle. Set the text size to 1. Set the words in the first text box to greater than 20. And uh, you can set the text in the second box to less than 20. Then you can just set the text size and the coordinates in the second block to what you set it for in the first block. What this program does is tell the robot to constantly display whether or not the ambient light intensity is greater than or less than 20. In this program, we will show you how to use the measure color setting on the color sensor block. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a loop block from the orange tab. Go to the yellow tab and bring up a color sensor block and place it inside the loop. Now you can bring up a switch block and place it inside the loop next to the color sensor block. Set the switch block to numeric, which is all the way at the bottom. In the first case, we're going to put the number 5 because that's the number the sensor shows when it sees the color red. Other colors have different numbers like blue is 2 so if we wanted the program to be watching for the color blue we would set the number 2. Leave the bottom case at 0. Bring up a move steering block and place it in the first case and you can turn it off. Now you can bring up a weight block and put it next to the move steering block Pull up a sound block from the green tab and uh, you can make it say red. Pull up a loop interrupt block from the orange tab and put it next to the sound block. All you have to do for the bottom case is put a move steering block in it and turn it on. 
Since the bottom case is the default case, represented by the little black dot next to the number 0, this is the case that will play unless red is seen. If red is seen, then the motors will stop. The program will pause for one second, and then the robot will, stay, will say red. And then the loop interrupt block will play, making the whole program exit the loop, and the program will end. In this program, we will show you how to use the measure reflected light intensity setting on the color block. The first thing you're going to want to do here is bring up a loop block. Then you can go to the yellow tab and bring up a color sensor block. Change the setting to measure reflected light intensity. Then grab a display block from the green tab and set it to text pixels and set it to wired. Now take a wire from the color sensor block to the display block and it, you can set the coordinates to whatever you'd like. We use 40 for X and 60 for Y in this program. You can leave the text size at 2. What this program does is make the color sensor constantly measure what the reflected light intensity is and show whatever it's reading on the screen. When the sensor is on darker colors, the reading will be low, either close to zero or zero itself. For lighter colors, higher numbers will be seen, close to 100 or 100 itself. In this program, we will show you how to use the Measure Ambient Light Intensity setting on the co color block. The first thing you're going to want to do is pull up a loop block, and then go to the yellow tab and put a color sensor block inside the loop. Change the setting on the color sensor block to Measure Ambient Light Intensity. Grab a display block from the green tab and put it next to the color sensor block. Set it to text pixels and wired. Then take a wire from the sensor block to the display block. Now you can set the coordinates to whatever you want. We use 40 for X and 60 for Y in this program. What this program does is tell the color sensor to constantly watch what the ambient light intensity percentage is. Lower to the ground, not a lot of light can reach the color sensor, so the number will be pretty low. If you were to lift the robot up off the ground, the color sensor is vulnerable to much more ambient light, so the number will be higher. In this program, we will show you how to use the compare color setting on the color sensor block. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a loop block from the orange tab. Then you can grab a color sensor block and put it inside the loop. Set it to compare color. Bring up a switch block and put it in the loop next to the color sensor block. And you can set it to numeric. Take a wire from the sensor block to the switch block. Set the number in the first case to 5 since that's the number that the sensor reads when it sees red. Make the bottom case the default case so that when any color other than red is seen, that case will play. Pull up a move steering block and put it in the top case and turn it off. Then you can put a loop interrupt block next to it. Bring up another move steering block and put it in the bottom case. And you can turn it on. What this program does is have the color sensor constantly compare what color it is sensing with what color we want it to sense, which is red in this case. If the sensor doesn't see red, the bottom case will play because it is the default case. If it does see red, however, the top case will play and the move steering block will play along with the loop interrupt block so the motors will stop and the program will exit the loop and the program will end. 
In this program, we will show you how to use the Compare Reflective Light Intensity setting on the color sensor block. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a loop block. Then you can get a color sensor block from the yellow tab and change the setting to Compare Reflected Light Intensity. Change the compare type to greater than or equal to, and change the threshold value to 75. You can bring up a switch block and change the setting to logic. Then you can take a wire from the color sensor block to the switch block. Bring up a move tank block and put it in the true case. And then you can turn it on. And then you can change the power in the second motor to 30. Put a move steering block in the false case and turn it to off and put a loop interrupt block in the false case next to the move steering block. What this program does is make the color sensor compare what the reflected light intensity is with what we want it to be, which in this case is greater than or equal to 70% reflected light intensity, and tell us whether or not it is sensing what we want to. If it is, then it will turn a little bit and once it does not see greater than or equal to 70% reflected light intensity, then it will stop and the loop interrupt block will play and the loop will be exited and the program will end. In this program, we will show you how to use the compare ambient light intensity setting on the color sensor block. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a loop block. Then you can bring up a color sensor block and place it inside the loop block and set it to compare ambient light intensity. Change the compare type to greater than or equal to and change the threshold value to 20. Pull up a switch block from the orange tab and put it inside the loop block and set it to logic and then take a wire from the sensor block to the switch block. Next you can bring up a medium motor block from the green tab and put it inside the true case and turn it off. In the false case, place another medium motor block, but this time you can turn it on. What this program does is make the color sensor constantly compare what the ambient light intensity percentage is to what we want it to be, which is 20% ambient light intensity or greater. If it is greater than, than or equal to 20, then the true case will play, making the medium motor stop. If it is less than 20, then the medium motor will turn. In this program, we will show you how to use the Calibrate Reflected Light Minimum setting on the color block. The first thing you're going to want to do here is grab a color sensor block and set it to Calibrate Reset. This makes the sensor a clean slate to work with. Then you can grab a weight block from the orange tab and set it to however many seconds you need to make sure your robot is on a black line. We use about 5 seconds. Bring up another color sensor block and change the setting to measure reflected light intensity. Bring up yet another color sensor block and set it to calibrate reflected light intensity minimum. Then you can take a wire from the second color sensor block to the third. 
What this program does is calibrate the light sensor to read zero on a black line by first resetting the color sensor block and making it a clean slate. Then for five seconds, it measures the least possible reflected light intensity, which is zero, and making that the new value for black. In this program, we will show you how to use the Calibrate Reflected Light Maximum setting on the color block. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a color sensor block and set it to Calibrate Reset. This makes the sensor a clean slate to work with. Then you can grab a white block from the orange tab and set it to however many seconds you need to make sure your robot is on a white line. We use about 5 seconds. Bring up another color sensor block and change the setting to measure reflected light intensity. Bring up yet another color sensor block and set it to calibrate reflected light maximum. Then you can take a wire from the second color sensor block to the third. What this program does is calibrate the color sensor to read 100 on a white line by first resetting the color sensor and making it a clean slate. Then for 5 seconds it measures the highest possible reflected light intensity, which is 100, and making that the new value for white. So those are some of the ways you can program with the EV3 color sensor block. If you want to learn different ways to program your EV3 robot, check out our other Mindstorms programming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.